how to use Leonardo AI video generator step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with using Leonardo AI's video generator. Now, Leonardo AI has a super powerful tool which can help you in creating AI-based content. They have several different features including AI video, AI images, and so much more. So let's get started. To get started, simply click on get started over here and you're going to sign up for Leonardo AI. To do this, you're just going to click on the left and then sign up. Now I have created my account and when you are going to create your account, you're going to get 150 free credits. And then after that, you will have to purchase your credits. Now over here, we have a canvas editor, upscaler, image creator, video generator, flow state, and real-time canvas. So we're going to click on video over here to get started. Once we do that, we can see we have their basic prompts. And over here, you do have to create your first AI image. And then after that, you can proceed with priority generations on videos as well. But we're going to directly go with video. And after that, on the left, you will also see a few different options for the camera angles. So within your camera angles, you will even see the option for the type of model you want to use, Motion 2, Motion 1, and VO3. We're going to go with Motion 2, which is Midjourney's own model. They also do support VO3, which is actually a Google model. Then after that, we have Prompt Enhancement. Prompts will always be refined to improve outputs or turn this off. Now, I like to leave this as automatic because I don't want it to expand upon any of the long prompts that I add, but I do want it to expand upon the short one, so I leave it at automatic. Then after that, you can choose the vibe, lighting, and the color theme. So we can go into vibe over here and pick out the vibe. We have vibe, and then we have, you know, a bunch of different lighting options. And after that, we have color themes. Now within lightings, I might want to go with golden hour. And then after that, I have the generation mode. So we have 480p as well as uh, 720p currently you don't have full hd imports or exports then you have your video dimensions and the number of videos below that you also have the ability to directly categorize the video you're creating into a collection and then you have your advanced settings for smooth videos and negative prompts you can turn on negative prompt to actually add what you don't want to include in the video so let's say i want a video of a scenery with loads of flowers but I specifically don't want any bodies of water, so I can add that in the negative prompt and it won't include any bodies of water. I'm just going to write my prompt. So, woman in medieval clothing standing in front of a castle or not standing, walking woman or a princess. And then after that, we are just going to define it a bit more. She is beautiful with long blonde hair and two maids following her following her now again this is a very short prompt you can make your prompts far more detailed there are three basic elements that you do want to include in video prompts so whenever you're writing a video prompt you want to specify the subject the environment of the subject as well as the movement of the subject so our subject is the princess and the environment is a castle and the movement is that she is walking. Now, the more details I provide about these three elements, the better my video is going to be. And she is beautiful. And now I'm just going to click on generate and you guys can see it takes 200 credits to generate. You can proceed with the free version or you can subscribe to get one of their premium versions. Keep in mind that all images and all creations are going to become public and then you can proceed. Now, depending on whatever type of, you know, subscription you are on, you can choose to private some of your videos and keep in mind that video creation is available in the Artisan Unlimited, not the Apprentice or the free versions of Leonardo AI. And just like that, you can proceed. Now, you will see a library on the left, which can help you in viewing all of the content you've already created. And in your home section, you can directly go into video over here. Once you go into video over here, you can see some of the other prompts that people have used. So I'll show you guys a few examples. Starting off a highly realistic ASMR video of a woman's hand slicing into a clear glass sculpture of a pancake. 
So again, it's not a clear glass sculpture, but it looks kind of like slime. Then within our next video, we have a bear with a selfie angle, and this has defined. Within the prompt, you guys can see that the person has defined what they want the camera angle to be. After this, we also have a dramatic, high fidelity, historical reenactment. Then after that, we also have a 95-year-old Filipina woman being interviewed in a public market uh, store with basic items like snacks. And you guys can see it was able to accurately judge what type of snacks would be available in a small store in the Philippines. And on the right, it even has a tuk-tuk, it has some bikes, it has some people walking around. A few things are not going to make sense. Uh, maybe in the background, you guys can see a couple of bikes. This person appears out of nowhere. But it still is to honestly something you wouldn't notice if you were not paying, you know, super close attention. Now, next up, a looping GIF animation of a single glowing red eye. After that, we have a ultra realistic 8K ASMR video of a human hand slicing a capybara type slime. Now, going back, I want to look at a certain style of video so I can directly go on to the right here and I can choose that style of video. So I want it to be photographic and i can just proceed i can even click on all if you want to just view all types of videos that are being created using leonardo ai and i would say that depending on the model you use your results are going to vary vo3 does a better job at creating more hyper realistic videos whereas leonardo ai's own models are pretty amazing when you are creating you know videos that have a creative flair so this is how you can get started with video creation on Leonardo AI. I hope you guys uh, have found this video helpful and you can create amazing content like this. It truly is not difficult at all. And a lot of these examples are your, you know, ASMR videos. And the reason why you're seeing a lot of these is that it can be really effective for you to start any YouTube channel or, you know, content channels where you have ASMR videos because they're so pleasing to look at and people are always excited to view more of these. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video